Hello, Gemini. This is your January 2019 reading. As always, this will not resonate with all Geminis, but I'm hoping to get the majority. But this is for Gemini, full Celtic cross, January 2019. Some of you are working hard with the Eight of Pentacles in the upright. I'm putting that back in. It'll come out. If it's meant to be, it'll come out again. Gemini, January 2019, full Celtic cross for the masses. For the general population, the energies for Gemini, 2019, January. Let's see what the beginning energies are, okay? Then we'll work it through there, see what's going on. Gemini's were in kind of a sticky situation in the last few readings. Let's see if it, you know, clears itself up here. Maybe I'll get different energy. Beginning energy, completion, not occurred. Things are not completed yet. Maybe that's why the Eight of Pentacles was coming out. You're still working on things. You're still trying to get things accomplished in life. Um, you have been working on something, and you're, you're continuing to work on something as January comes in. Subject at hand, you're a little worried for some reason. Some people call this feeling left out in the cold. You know, it's all kind of reasons, but it's basically just feeling like you're worried about a lot of times your finances and your, you know, live in security, what you're wanting in life to keep you afloat. It's crossing it is your fortune. You're wanting your fortune to come in and you're worried. Your goal is, this, is try to turn things around. It could be that you weren't seeing things how they were. Maybe your gut instinct was off. Maybe in, in the future you're not just going to, you know, trust your gut instinct maybe because you feel it's off. Because that's the high priestess in reverse. Sometimes it also means you're going to try and figure out, um, bring out things that are kind of secret, things that are hidden. You're going to try to come to bring them to light. Foundation, possibly a new offer is at hand. This is a, this is a beginning offer, something new. Also has to do with finances. In the past, you may have actually discovered something that was hidden from you. You may have found out something. You may have, um, some of you may feel a little depressive state. But usually when I see the moon card, it's, with me anyway, it's deceptions. And something came out. In the near future, you're going to have a little anxiety over all this, over money mostly. But I'm going to clarify this because this is in the near future, and I got to do the distant future, which is more like a couple months from now. It can it can happen sooner, depending on what other cards are nearby. Like um, if you got a lot of wands and swords nearby, it could happen sooner. But let's find out why you're so worried with the Wheel of Fortune. I mean, most people are. Sometimes people spend too much, and that has a lot to do with it. Or maybe, like I said, sales were slow. Money was not coming in as quick enough. <clears throat> the Worried card with the Wheel of Fortune crossing it. Why are you there for Gemini? A lot of Geminis here worried about their money. You know, you feel like there's no good options out there with the Seven of Cups. You may have to take options or offers that you don't think that are lucrative. Or you may have you may have been doing that. Can I get another card for the Five of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Seven of Cups? For Gemini, January 2019. And you're not happy with the situation. That's the Sun card in reverse. That's just your feelings. You're just not feeling like the sun is shining on your finances right now. Or your, you know, your stable situation of how you're wanting things in life. Now your goal, the high priestess, is in reverse. Let's find out why that's your goal or what crowns you. The high priestess <clears throat> in reverse while you're there. Yeah, because of the sneaky behavior, something came out. You're trying to break free of something with the Seven of Swords in reverse. Seven of Swords in reverse attached to that card because it's the Y card. It's the clarifier. 
It's, you're trying to figure out something, find out something. Maybe that's what this is here. You don't trust your gut instinct over something that's sneaky to hap that happened. You're figuring, I'm not going to let this happen again. I was off in my intuition about something or someone or a situation. And I get another card for the High Priestess and the Seven of Swords that are both in reverse as your goal or what crowns you. Yeah, you feel like there's no growth in a situation that has to do with your finances mostly. I'm thinking that you feel like someone merely messed you over. And the foundation, and you may be going for something new. You may be starting something new with the Ace of Disc in the upright while you're there for Gemini. There you are in the upright. I think you're going to go for something a little bit newer, something you think is more stable, because that's the Prince of Swords in the upright. That is your energy. Could be another Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, but I'm thinking it's you. Ace of Discs, Prince of Swords, why are you there? Could be also offers coming in. Yeah, you're not just going to take anything either, because that's the Four of Cups in reverse. I don't see you taking anything that does not suit you with the Four of Cups in reverse. That's the Y card. Now, the, the Moon in reverse in the past. What's going on with the Moon in reverse for Gemini in the past? It has something to do with the Knight of uh, Wands. The Knight of Wands could be a fire sign. It could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or someone that's just really energetic going in and out. You may have th thought you could not trust this Knight of Wands for some reason. They are in the upright, but also the Knight of Wands is kind of in and out. They're not very. They're not going to stay in one place. They can't stay in one place. They just got too much energy. And I get another card for the Moon card in reverse and the Knight of Wands in the upright. Queen of Discs in reverse, that could be your feeling. You're feeling like it's not going to work out, work out financially with this person. It's not a secure situation. It's not going to work out emotionally with this person. You know, with the fire sign. And the Queen of Discs, this could be your energy. You're taking on the Queen of Discs energy, even though it's an Earth sign energy. It could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But this person does not feel very lucrative right now, very secure. So it could be that you're taking on this energy or the people around you are feeling this way too. And maybe things are coming out that we're kind of on the negative side when it comes to finances and family and security. You know, in the near future, you're just going to feel like you have a little anxiety from all this that had occurred. Let's find out why you're feeling so much anxiety with the Nine of Swords in the upright in the very near future. Gemini is feeling on edge. Why are you feeling on edge, Gemini? You leave it in the comments also. Some, some kind of controlling situation <clears throat> could again be a fire sign, mostly the Aries. But the Emperor takes control. It could be that you're trying to take control, taking this energy. And you're having anxiety doing it. But the emperor's in the upright, so you are doing things okay. You're doing things right. You're ruling <clears throat> your situation well. Or people around you are. Can I get another card for the Nine of Swords and the Emperor? Both in the upright. Princess of Death. So you're trying to take control again. So you got the fire sign and the, and the earth energy here. You know, they're kind of back to back, one is in reverse, the other one is trying to do the best they can, but things came out that, like I said, was negative, and now as, as January moves forward, you're going to feel a little anxiety, but you're taking control, and the Princess of Disc ends up coming in the upright. Princess of Disc could also be messages of financial security, but that's why you're having anxiety, you're taking control. You're wanting to take control, and you're, you're, it looks like you're doing it, but it's still causing you anxiety at the same time. Now, this is the advice card or the possible future outcome for Gemini. <clears throat> the advice says don't get too defensive with the Seven of Wands in reverse. You know, try not to get too defensive because that's why it's there. Someone's getting defensive, possibly. Seven of Wands, why are you there? In reverse for Gemini.
Yeah, try to keep that Prince of Disc in the upright because it's in reverse. Don't get defensive. Don't get things turned around with the Princes of Disc. Because I see you're trying to take control of the situation. Can I get another card? Don't let things get turned around. Yeah, collaborate. Work together with the Three of Pentacles in the upright. So people should watch their words. You should watch your words. They should watch their words. They should keep things, you know, going and collaborate and keep on talking and working things out. Who is coming towards you? Queen of Disc. Had that for Taurus too. Queen of Disc is coming towards you. This is uh, if it if it is a person, it is an Earth element again. Uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. It also could be that someone's financially secure and able to help you in a situation. They are coming towards you. They are in the upright and they are a positive person. Queen of Disc, why are you there? The Gemini coming towards them. Could have to do with that Ace of Disc, that offer. Do you see a lot of earth energy here? They're going to come towards you because there have been disappointment in your life. This is why they're coming towards you because of the Five of Cups. They're going to tell you, they're going to show you that you do have good options, even though things were a disappointment to you, things kept on spilling over and not working out for you, but there are two full cups, and this person may show you what they are, the positives, what is coming towards you. Can I get another card for the Queen of Disc and the Five of Cups? I could see some of them saying, oh, stop crying over spilt milk. Something good's coming your way. So what's another card for a Queen of Discs and the Disappointment Five of Cups that's attached to it? It's trying to come out of disappointment. And New Beginnings with the Fool card. <clears throat> yeah, I do think someone's going to be offering you a new beginning, even though you had this financial situation that went amok, you discovered something, the options were just blah. You're going to feel the anxiety from it. But I think, <clears throat> excuse me, like you're getting a new offer possibly. And you got someone coming in that is very good at that. Universe is telling you to try to collaborate and don't get over defensive. I don't know why you would. You can leave it in the comments, but some of you may. Hopes and fears. You're afraid of that five of cups. You're afraid of disappointment. You're afraid everything's just going to spill over and not work out. Five of cups in reverse. Why are you there for Gemini? January 2019. About money, Ten of Pentacles, Gemini's worry about money and finances and security in January. Can I get another card with the Five of Cups in reverse and the Ten of Pentacles in the upright? Still worried about the money. Yeah, you're afraid things are going to come to a halt. Final outcome, no celebrations just yet. You're still going to be working hard, working on something. There's no, no, going to be no really going out and partying too much. It's all about work now. Three of Cups in reverse. Why are you there? Yep, you're going to get your intuition back, and you're not going to just go out and not do anything like party. Like, and there's nothing wrong with celebrations, but um, I see a lot of you, you know, taking things a lot more seriously. Because with the Three of Cups in reverse, is someone's deciding. They're just going to not go out right now. They're going to work things out because I do see work coming your way, new situations. And you may just be a little bit too busy to hang out with people. And you're going to try to get your intuition back up, your confidence back up, and seeing things for how they are. You're trying to work things out. You're trying to clear your head. Can I get another card? For the Abundance card, Three of Cups, and the High Priestess there, seeing things where they are. You don't want to be like your mind all amok. You want to keep your mind clear. That's what it is. I'm feeling that strongly. Can I get another card, like I said, for the Three of Cups and the High Priestess? Yep, you're not just taking any offers. I don't think you're going to accept a lot of new love offers because financial situations are at hand and new, new beginnings with that, you'll be a little bit busy. People, someone may want to celebrate with you, but you don't want, like I said, your mind to be all muck, and you may turn down an offer to celebrate. It's not that you're being mean or anything. And for a few of you, you know, someone may turn you down. 
but I'm seeing this as a Gemini reading, and I'm going to call it for Gemini, that you may just put your nose to the grindstone, as they say. Yeah, the lover in reverse. You're not looking for love right now. Not the um, happily ever after. Not the steady. The finances has to be okay for it first. For Geminis here that I'm reading for, they're trying to get their lives and their finances together before they take on new love. So as you're reading, you'll be working on money. There is a new offer coming. Someone will be offering you a new beginning when it comes to finances. You're a little anxiety. You have a little anxiety coming up, but you'll work it out. Remember, don't get over uh, defensive. Collaborate. It may something may seem off, but someone is trying to help you with a new beginning. They're going to show you you still got a good situation coming in. Like I said, you won't be partying in celebration too much. You got to clear your mind. It's not that you're rejecting people. It's just the timing is off. It's time to get to work for Gemini. So I'll talk to you later. Sure reading. I'll be back soon for another one, okay? Talk to you later. Bye.